Hi children, have a good day. Welcome to grade 5 max class. Today it is session 5 of chapter 7 decimal numbers. So in last class we discussed about first two mathematical operations on decimal numbers. That is addition and subtraction of decimal numbers. Today we are going to discuss multiplication with a whole number and multiplication of a decimal number with a decimal number. So look at the first topic, multiplication with a whole number. So we all know a decimal number has three parts. That is the whole number part and a decimal part. So the number before the decimal point is called whole number part and the number after the decimal point is called the decimal part. So now we are going to multiply a decimal number with a whole number. So look at the question, 153.12 multiplied by 11. So first you have to arrange the numbers. After arranging, you have to start from the last place value. So look at the last place value that is tens, hundreds place. So after the decimal point, it is tens and hundreds. So starting from the hundreds place, multiply with the whole number that is 11. After multiplying with the whole number that is ones place, then move on to the tens place. Then add the two products and find out the final answer. And second method is multiplication of decimal number with your decimal number. So look at the question, 15.21 multiplied by 1.3. So 15.21 multiplied by 1.3. So if a multiplicand has two decimal places and multiplier has one decimal place, so the answer will have three decimal places. So first step is you have to arrange the numbers. After arranging, always you have to start from the right corner. So when you are multiplying three with the above number, you get the first product. And after completing the first product, make a zero and move on to the second number. So when you are multiplying one with the above number, you get the second product. After multiplying, add the two products and find out the final answer. So always remember if the decimal point, that is the first number has two decimal point and second number has one decimal point. So Totally, we have three decimal points. So the answer will have three decimal points. Next, multiplication by 10, 100, and 1000. So when you are multiplying a decimal number with 10, how will you get the answer? And how you will get if multiplied by 100 and 1000? Let's do this. Look at the first one. When we multiply a decimal number by 10, the decimal point shifts to the right by one digit. That is 45.0 multiplied by 10 is 450. That is the decimal point shifts to the right by one digit. Next, 4.5 into 10. So 4.5 multiplied by 10, we get 45 because the decimal point shifts to the right by one digit. Similarly, for 100, the decimal points moves to the right side by two digits. Look at the first example, 45.0, when multiplied by 100, the answer is 4,500. So 100 has two zeros. So remember, the decimal point shifts to the right side by two digits. So the answer is 4,500. Similar rule is applicable for multiplication by 1,000. So a thousand has three zeros. So the decimal point shifts to the right side by three digits. For example, 45.0 multiplied by thousand, we get 45,000. So this is the procedure of multiplication of decimal numbers with 10, 100 and thousand. So today your classwork part will be on your concept book. Do practice on eight and nine in page number 97 to 100. Also, your homework part will be on your workbook. Do question number 10 in page number 78 and 77 and 78. Children, complete your homework on time and hand in Google Classroom app, grade 5 maths. Thank you.